some of the sheet masks that I have used over the last week, week and a half or so, and thought I would do a little mini review on each of those. So, um, let's get started with this one here. This one is from Misha, and this is the Pure Source Sheet Mask in Raspberry, and it's supposed to be firming and nourishing, and it is around $2 is the price on it. It is a Korean mask. Um, it has a cotton sheet. It's one, one full size sheet. It's not in two parts. It's one sheet. It was cotton. Um, it was um, for lifting. It was very rich in antioxidants because of the raspberry. Um, there was not a whole lot of um, essence in here when I pulled my sheet out it was already almost dry so there wasn't a whole lot of moisturization with this so it was probably not one of my favorite ones but it did smell really good it had a nice fragrance to it not overbearing and um, I don't know if I said the price but it was around two dollars is the price on those Next I have this little mask here and this one was sent to me by Anne and this is another Korean mask and this is the Snail Essence Hydrating Mask. I mean, first of all you've got to appreciate the packaging on that. I mean look how cute that is with that little girl on the snail. I mean that's just so cute. Anyway, these run around $1.50. Um, they are a Korean mask, so everything pretty much on the back is all in Korean. There's a little bit of English written back there. Um, price point is around $1.50. I think I said that. I'm going to put that down because I've got juice running out of it. But um, it's supposed to, the snail essence is supposed to help with speed healing and to even out your skin tone, to calm redness, um, repair sun damage, hydration, and to um, stimulate the formation of collagen. I mean, the snail essence or snail slime is, what is my camera doing? I hope it's recording. <laughs> Anyway, um, I was watching a video where the top trends of 2016 um, in the Asian beauty um, skincare market, so to speak, and um, one of the things that she talked about, well, there was two. There was bee venom and snail, snail slime as being some of the... Um, trends for this year and so you're going to be seeing that a lot especially with bee venom i think but anyway this was the snail essence i really did enjoy it the mask was fine for my face um, i didn't have any dripping um, there was no stickiness no tacky um, make sure that i always have in my sheet mask stash some snail mask for sure um then i have these from the spa life these are the tokia the Beauty Trip Facial Mask. Um, I don't remember the price on these. I think I got them. I know I got them at Marshalls. They were in a box of three or four for like $3.99, $4.99, around that price range. You can order them off the Spa Life website or you can find them at uh, Marshalls. Um, it was definitely not my favorite, but it does have seaweed and omega 3. And it's called the Beauty Trip Facial Mask because they had different ones that were from different parts of different countries. But eh, it was okay. I'm definitely not going to repurchase. It was not my favorite. Um, it was made in Korea. I just don't know what else to say about it. It just wasn't that... Um, just didn't leave that big of an impression on me. So now I won't be repurchasing those. I had two of those also. Okay, another one I have. This one is also one that Ann sent me. This is from Leaders. Leaders is one of my favorite um, brands of masks to have. This was a um, 
a full sheet mask. It wasn't a two-part gel mask. It was a sheet mask. Um, it runs around $2.50 for one of these. And was for... Anyway, this is um, this is from Leaders. This is a second mask that I had from Ann. Um, Leaders is one of my the gel mask that they make out of the um, this the inside of the coconut. Well, this one they um, also like to resource natural um, elements out of nature that normally would go to ra to waste, and this is made out of the the cotton ball. That normally is um, not used, and it's. I have it wrote down in here. It's called a fine linter. It's a soft fiber of the cotton ball that develops between its seed and the long fibers, and it's um, normally not used, but they utilize it to make their their sheet masks. So they're trying, you know, to utilize things that normally would go to waste and make them more cost effective and more environmental friendly I guess is what I'm trying to say but anyway this was definitely a brightening mask um, it was, uh, to brighten dull and dark skin so it was helping with um, skin pigmentation <clears throat> clears tones lost from aging stress and environmental factors is what it says it does I really did like it like I said, the Leaders is one of my favorites. Um, there was enough essence in here to keep the sheet hydrated while it was still in the packet. There was enough essence that was left over that I was able to rub on my neck, my decollete, my arms, my legs, and did not dry out. I left it on for a good 30 minutes, which is what I like to leave my mask on for. And I would definitely keep one of these in my mask stash for sure. Did like that okay nest mask and I'm not for sure what brand this is and I do apologize for that um, I was able to look it up and get a price and they're around a dollar fifty I think what I did when I googled it I just put in Imperial's bird nest mask and it came up and gave me a price and where it could be purchased at Anyway, this didn't have any kind of scent. Um, it left, left my skin very smooth and brightening. Um, it's good for whitening, which in the Asian skincare, whitening doesn't mean that it's like making your skin white. It just means that it's lightening your dark spots. Um, it was average hydration. It wasn't just over the top hydrating, but the mask itself fit well. Didn't have any problems with you know the holes being too big or too small. Um, there was no dripping, and there was no tackiness, no stickiness, and it was able to leave it on for a good 30 minutes before the mask itself started drying out. So I did do the bird's nest, but you just got to enjoy the fact that, you know, you're putting bird's nest something on your face. You know, you've always heard of the bird's nest soup. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway. Okay, another one from Ann. This is the um, Snail Bee High Content Mask Bat Mask Pack. And this is a Benton. And I know you can get these off of Mimi Box. Again, this is a Korean mask. This is $1.50. Um, it is a cotton mask. And this one, um, according to the website and when I was looking at it, has at least 20% of snail slime in it which we know is good for all kinds of things as far as brightening, hydration, smoothing, calming. Um, just a lot of different benefits that the little snail apparently has in it, which how they found that out, I don't know if I want to know. But anyway, um, definitely had enough essence in it that I was able to use it on my neck, decollete, hands, arms, legs, feet, which is what I like to do. After I take my mask off, I like to rub it all over those places, especially my elbows and just anywhere that I feel like the essence would be a benefit to my skin. And yes, I did like this and would definitely keep these in mind to have in my stash. 
the snail, and that one had the snail and the bee venom in it, so it had the best of both worlds. This right here is the Mulberry Essence. Again, another Korean mask. Um, again, this was something that was sent to me from Anne. And this is the Rin Platts brand, which is down here at the bottom. Um, this was a little bit more on the pricier side as far as the Korean masks go, because most of them were around a dollar to a dollar fifty, two dollars. This one will run around three dollars. And the mulberry is good for hydration and firmness. It also has a um, illumination or luminous property to it. So it's going to make your skin very bright and moisturized and dewy looking. And it's um, very good for dull, dry skin. So that is the mulberry. And it was a one-sheet cotton mask. It was not a two-part. Next one I have is this one here. This one was again from Ann. And this is the Juicy Mass Sheet, the Tea Tree. And this is the Holica Holica brand. And it is for spot control. And again, you know, the Tea Tree is good for calming the skin that is inflamed. Um, tea Tree is also a natural um, resource for helping with acne prone skin. And it did kind of have a little bit of a tingling sensation while it was on the skin. And that's just from the tea tree really, you know, working. Um, so definitely this would be something to use if you are prone to acne or breakouts. So I would definitely give this one a try. And it was around um, $2.20 for that one. And here we have an apple mask. And this one is um, geared toward those folks that have oily skin. This was around $1.50, and it's got essence looking out of it. Um, it's also for anti-aging. It also helps to calm the skin and helps with aging. Um, it absorbed very quickly into the skin. It wasn't one of those that I had to wait for it to, to dry down after I took the mask off and wait for it to absorb. It was pretty quick doing that. Um, it's not something that I need to use on a continuous basis because I don't have oily skin. But if you do have oily skin but you also need hydration and um, something for anti-aging, this would be a good one. And it was around $1.50 another Korean mask. This is the Ja Jan John Yeon Mapping Essence Mask 2. And this is the Royal Jelly Essence Mask. This will run around $1.50. And it's a one sheet cotton mask. And this is to help liven up tired skin. So definitely help to revitalize the skin and make it look um, dewy and fresh and young. And it was a full sheet, a cotton mask, had enough essence in it to um, last throughout the 30 minutes that I had it on, plus extras to rub everywhere that I wanted to put it. Definitely like it. I definitely like it for the package because I love the butterflies on it. But anyway, definitely a good, a good one for anti-aging and hydration. I would definitely recommend that one. And then I have another one from the same brand. That's the um, the Yod Jaw Yeon Mapping. I'm not for sure on that one. And this one is the White Essence Mask, which is good for brightening the skin. Um, it has the green tea extract in it. It has aloe extract, tomato extract, bamboo extract, lemon extract. Um, just a lot of different extracts in it that is um, properties that are known for help with brightening the skin. Had a lot of essence in it. Again, was able to leave it on for the good 30 minutes, not drying out. I know I'm saying the same thing about all of them, but they're all pretty much the same. You know, it's just the properties of what they do is different. As far as the, um, actually, the actual, um, performance of them are all the same. I've enjoyed every single one of them except for maybe you know some of the ones that were more for acne prone skin but this one was really good. Enjoyed it and it runs around $1.50. Let's see. I think that's going to 
be it. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, the last mask I want to talk about is one that I got from Marshalls, and this is one of the Naster brand. Naster is a really good brand. Um, if you're getting started with masking, I highly recommend them. Um, you can find them at Marshalls or at TJ Maxx in a pack of like four or five for around five dollars. Um, I had wrote down on my notes I got this at Marshalls for a pack of five for $4.99. Um, you can get them on Amazon, but I will tell you they are more expensive on Amazon. So if you have access to one of those places where you can get them, I would definitely get them there. Um, it's a very good sheet mask. It's um, The sheet is actually made from rice. So again, you're going to be getting some beneficial um, skincare properties from the sheet mask itself with it being rice. Um, it fits the face perfectly. It's not too small or not too big. And it leaves the skin, you know, bright and supple and moisturized. Um, it did have a little bit of a, a citrus scent to it, but it's very mild, not overwhelming at all. And I do recommend definitely the White Sea Mask from, Ma from Naster. And it is a Korean mask also. So, anyway. So that is it for this week's mask review. I hope you enjoy. Um, make sure that you are using and utilizing mask, where it's a sheet mask or a gel mask, a peel-off mask. Any type of mask is good for your skin and also um, use mask for your hair. Very good. So make sure you're incorporating masking into your skincare regime. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.